described as a larger-than-life legend in the town of Abington. For 50 years, Coach Kelleher has led the high school football team. But he's ready for retirement. And as WBZ's Nick Giovanni shows us, tonight's BZ's MVP will leave big shoes to fill. Stop anywhere in Abington, and there's one name everyone seems to know. Jim Kelleher, does that name ring a bell? Oh, absolutely. He's awesome. Who is Coach Kell? He's been here forever. For half a century, Jim Kelleher has been a mainstay on the sidelines at Abington High School as head coach of the Green Wave football team. I just consider myself the luckiest guy in the world, you know, really, truly do. He's thought of by his peers and his players as a giant of sorts, whose resume is unmatched in Massachusetts. What were your first impressions of him back in the 80s? <laughs> he was a pretty intense guy and stuff, you know, I mean, he was just a larger than life. Person. It's always been kind of intimidating. He's kind of a he's a big dude. A big dude who's about to leave big shoes to fill next fall, calling it a career 50 seasons after he first stepped into the lead role for his hometown team back in 1974. Did you go in to the the role anticipating this was going to be where you were going to spend the next 50 years? No, I didn't plan on that. No. And choosing to set up shop at his alma mater, Kelleher's built a football family that's brought home five state titles and memorably. Even delivered a game ball to his home when the head coach was sidelined for a semifinals win with COVID during the pandemic. He has coached multiple fathers and then sons. Generations, plural, have played for Coach Kell. Gentlemen, how you doing? A family tradition in the Riley household. I used to be his water boy way back when, and then I played for him in the late 80s. Ed Riley is now associate head coach for the Green Wave. His son Michael. Was followed in his father's footsteps from water boy to quarterback, both learning under a legend. Oh, he's like part of our family. You know, he really is. Um, you know, I've said it before, he's like been like a second father to me. Now he's a good friend. Growing up, I've heard a lot of different stories. I've always looked forward to playing on this team one day, and now that I am, it's kind of surreal. It's a common theme for the majority of Kelleher's coaching staff, made up mostly of men who used to play for their new boss. He has taught you a lot. Yeah, so I mean, taught me. Taught me everything. I mean, the guy, he's a great tactician. I mean, breaking down film, and you know, when I say breaking down film back in the day, I mean, it was true film and stuff. I like the CS to go as fast as we can. All right, run in place. You know, I like to say, like, everyone thinks I'm going to used to be like the big bear, but I use this as a big teddy bear when you really get to know him. We heard you're the, uh, the big teddy bear instead of the big bear now, huh? Yeah, basically, that might be somewhat true, <laughs> you know, but uh, you better caution yourself. Never taking himself too seriously. Coach Kell's gone as far as dyeing his hair green for games, a Kodak moment he reserved for the season finale a year ago. I just wanted to just get the kids to have a laugh. Weighing whether to bring that look back one last time for his last game on Thanksgiving, we also asked Coach to consider the bigger picture before closing the playbook. What do you want your legacy to be when looking back just on this, on this game, on this school, on this town? Uh, just that the kid might look at it and say, uh, you know, he helped me become a better football player. What's the biggest lesson he's taught you? Um, it's really just like out of football. Just you always want to be nice to everybody. Like people remember like what you do. You know, he's always told his players, you know, first first and foremost, be a gentleman. And I think those type of life lessons are the big bigger things that I think will be his legacy. The X's and O's, they're there, the wins, the losses. You know, everybody already knows about that, but uh, behind the scene things, the helping of the kids, you know, get their grades up and things like that. Those are the things that a lot of people don't know about Jim Kelleher that that'll last with me. Jim Kelleher, this week's BZ's MVP. Oh, bravo. And now we do know all those things thanks to those great stories from his former players. The game can teach you only so much. Yeah. It's the individuals who make a difference in the lives of all of those young men. Wow, what a yeah. role model.